Welcome friends to another session of the Silk Route to Excel at Work. The past few sessions we have been learning about the various functions in Excel and a few tips and tricks to get the best out of Excel. Thanks for being with me. Please inform your colleagues, friends to subscribe so that they, you, me can all excel at work welcome friends we will now go into another aspect of excel this is using multiple inputs to get one single output i'll just give an example this is x look up sheet 7 these are the various items the sizes and available colors and their price in let us say wholesale shop so choices are limited and you have a combination of t-shirts full sleeves half sleeves in large medium and small in colors of red blue green and brown and the rates are given for each combination of items so if i want a, a red t-shirt in medium size what will be the price so i go to the t-shirts medium red the rate is 280 so we can use the data list validation and data validation we go for the list here we type the list t shirt next is full sleeved shirt Select here full sleeve, half sleeve shown. TK fine. Size are small, medium, and large. So I select the sizes here again. Go to the data validation. I am now in G3. For this, data validation is required. The data validation is list and the list rather than selecting the list, I'll type here small medium large there are three sizes available fine colors are red blue green and brown so again we'll data validate this one use the list and check for red blue green and brown fine now you want the price here so once i select here i'll go for the t-shirt the first example is small and the color is red fine what will be the red red is 260 so how do you use xlookup to get this we use what is called array formula but in microsoft 365 and uh, xlookup it's rather easy I'll just start entering the formula you will have an idea of what I'm doing X lookup of course we start with X lookup and then the lookup value so here what you need to see is I just come back to the in a little bit the lookup value which we are searching looking up in that is the t-shirt small red all will have the same number of rows so here you enter the formula x lookup 
what do you need first this t-shirt and then a combination of size and then a combination of color three values look up where do you look them up you see we're using the ampersand symbol which means it is a combination where do you look this up we'll come back to this again in a short while i'll make this as a text now for example if i write here the same thing g2 and g3 and g4 it says t-shirt small red this is what is looked up is being looked up so where do you look this up in a3 to a15 in combination with b3 to b15 and again in c3 to c15 so look for this combination in this sequence in these three columns and then this is the lookup array is complete return array what do we require sorry this should be an ampersand here ampersand c3 to c15 so we are looking up three values simultaneously in three columns these need not be adjacent columns remember that and then return array what do we look for this combination i want in the price which is d3 to d15 in case if not phone what can just write uh, combination not in stock and then close it ta t-shirt small red is 260 fine now we'll go to let's say full sleeved i want uh, if it's full sleeved small red is not available that's why the result comes so this we can remove this for example this is not required come not in stock so i require a large t-shirt red color it's there if i want a green color it is 650 if i want a blue color it's not in stock this is how you use x lookup to look up multiple values in similar sized columns and get one single output thanks for watching hope you have learned something new or refreshed what you already know please subscribe and share this with your peers friends and colleagues to help them you and me to excel at work thank you for watching